patient, male, five years of age, with, uh, and you can see that his eyes, eyes are swollen, his face is puffy, and the rest, uh, the abdomen is normal. And, uh, so, no demo of the feet or uh, Let's uh, proceed with the ultrasound uh, to see what's the reason for it. Yes, we can get to it. <coughs> Sorry. Now, this is uh, the liver. And I'm going to straight away jump the kidneys first because my impression here, here you see, this is the right kidney. And uh, what changes do we see in it compared to the normal? This is the, the right kidney. You can see there is distortion of the uh, pyramids. The, they are prominent. This and the kidney measures. 8.6 centimeter by 3.8 centimeter. This is the right kidney. And uh, second thing, that the parenchymal thickness is preserved. The echogenicity of the parenchyma is globally uh, diffusely raised. The pyramids are prominent with arcuate vessels, this tiny as uh, structure, tubular structure is the arcuate vessel. This is the pyramid, this is the arcuate vessel. Now, this is the pyramid, this is the pyramid. Another finding is that we don't see the central sinus echocomplex fat, whereas the minimal, very mild uh, fluid is seen in all the calluses. And uh, <coughs> now, what makes us I think that the primal uh, <coughs> equigenicity that of the cortex of the kidney is raised. Uh, it, we come to this conclusion because uh, of the very fact that uh, the parenchyma of the kidney, uh, the equigenicity of the parenchyma of the right kidney is raised as compared to the parenchyma of the liver. Now normally what uh, we see, normal what is? that uh, the uh, echogenicity of the renal parenchyma should be either equal to the, that of the liver or uh, it should be less as compared to that of the liver. But in this case, we are seeing that the echogenicity is raised. So, you, you can see kidney gliding over the source muscle and this is the transfer section. Idler vessels without Doppler, I can tell you, are normal. Now, in transfer section, uh, you get a better view of the fact that the parenchymal echogenicity of the kidney is raised. So, this is, see the irregularity that of the uh, pyramids. This is a pyramid, see it's irregularity. And you can also note in other uh, pyramids as well. No cortical uh, scarring is seen. However, a few tiny echogenic particles are seen within this uh, collecting system. One, two, three, four. And uh, so this is uh, about the right kidney. And now let's move towards the left kidney. This is the left kidney. There is hardly any difference uh, that you will note in two kidneys, both kidneys. This is the left kidney. And uh, in longitudinal suction, seen, you can see that again. Uh, we note all the fi same findings that uh, I have uh, reported to you on 
on the right kidney as the apparent kind of liquidemicity is raised uh, the, or, uh, the pyramids are significantly prominent and there is muffling of the central sinus hypocomplex irregularity uh, of the pyramids can be seen and in transfer section here you are you can see that uh, the this is a magnified view of the right kidney the uh, left kidney uh, and transfer section okay this is a magnified view now you can yourself make up that uh, how much uh, prominent the pyramids are and uh, see the prominence of the pyramids, irregularity of the pyramids. This is the pyramid, this is the pyramid. No central sign of psycho complex is seen. The parenchyma at the lower pole measures approximately 10.8 millimeters and it is with a normal and that uh, of the cortex, cortical thickness is approximately 6.3. So uh, <coughs> the thickness is preserved, the capsule is intact, no subcapsular fluid is seen. Now this, uh, we can give the differentials only. The sonographic differentials of this case would be either nephrotic syndrome, number one, an autoimmune disorder, second, interstitial nephritis, third, acute glomerulonephritis. If you don't have the uh, lab profile, in that case, uh, we can only report the findings. This is the uh, dependent region. Uh, I'm saying they're trying to see the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder, and you can see there is fluid in the dependent region, peritoneal cavity. As I did the scene, is minimal. However, there is uh, no evidence of pleural uh, effusion. This is the left hemidiaphragm, the right hemidiaphragm, no periodic primary modes. Wait, this is my hypertension. This is the subcostal view of the heart, and uh, this. There is fluid in the hepatoglial angle as well. This is small amount of this is the kidney supreme and small amount of fluid can be seen. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.